It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season 9 of The Walking Dead. In this video we're going to be taking a look at some new teases that we've been getting in the last couple of days and also in the last episode for the whispers and the introduction of the whispers. Now of course like I said some of this information is coming from what we kind of saw in the last episode, episode 7 of season 9. Some information is based on the teasers and some information is based off of some of the kind of knowledge that we have from the comic book. Now, before we actually dive into this, of course, if you are not a comic reader and if you don't want to know about the comic material that's going to be most likely adapted to the TV show. And if you're only a TV show only fan, you may not want to watch this video because this will definitely spoil things for you when it comes to the whispers and their introduction and what the villains are who are called the whispers. So with that said, that's, so that's your official spoiler warning. So with that out of the way, let's jump right into this. So going back to the last episode, there is one particular scene where we have Daryl and Henry talking about Daryl's dog. And if you remember, Daryl's dog was trapped in one of the traps that they made. And, you know, there were walkers surrounding the area and Daryl had to go and save the dog. And of course, Henry helped Daryl along the way. But the reason why Daryl has the dog and the purpose of the dog is basically to track the walkers that are around to sense them and warn Daryl before it becomes a problem. And of course, the other purpose that the dog has is that it brings body parts to Daryl. And Daryl basically checks to see if there's any sign of Rick out there. And, you know, he still hasn't really coped with the death and he's still getting over it. And, you know, he hasn't had closure yet. Of course, none of this is related to the whispers, but I did quickly want to mention this. The other thing that's interesting is that half of Daryl's wings on his vest is gone. Only half of it remains. Why is that? Did he do that because of Rick? Remains to be seen. But going back to the dog, so that's basically what the trap is for. Now, like I said last time, the dog got stuck in the trap. And in the scene with Daryl and Henry, Daryl says, the dog sets the traps. Explaining, you know, what I just said. And then says, never got stuck before. So it's the very first time that it's getting stuck. So that's something that's very odd. And I think it's very possible that maybe the Whispers had something to do with this. Of course, if you're still here, you probably know about the Whispers. So I think what happened is that the Whispers intentionally tied the dog and brought the walkers towards the dog and had Daryl go there to try to save the dog. I think what the Whispers were planning was to kill Daryl and take his stuff. Of course, the other reason could be that he's getting close to the boundary or the territory that the Whispers have and the Whispers have seen them around and they don't want them to progress any further than where they are. So they basically want to put a stop to it. So they are systematically taking these characters out by just killing them like this, by having the walkers get to them. So that's something that's very interesting and I definitely think that's a big tease they might not necessarily officially confirm this, but I think this was a pretty solid hint or Easter egg. Next, of course, in the last episode again, we have the part where Connie notices something in the woods. And, you know, she looks around and then she says it was nothing. Of course, this is the exact shot that we saw. We didn't see much more. This is basically what we had. Now... I spent like a couple minutes just staring at this image. I cannot see anything. Some people said that there's someone or a walker or a whisper or maybe Lydia or Alpha or Beta or whatever hiding. Now they could have been trolling, but I don't see anything. If you see anything in this image, let me know because I am very curious because I don't see anything. Of course, someone was watching them. We do know that because we did get the POV shots of someone in the woods looking at them, but we didn't see who it was. And based on this shot, of course, doesn't seem like they actually gave it away in terms of having someone be hidden in there. I don't see anything. That's what I'm saying. Let me know if you see something because I am definitely very curious to see what is supposed to be here that we're supposed to be seeing. 
Then we're getting into some stuff from the next episode, which I am absolutely pumped for. We got some pretty interesting and crazy images for the next episode, which I will be doing a standalone video on that I will do right after this. So stay tuned for that. But these images are coming straight from the trailer for the next episode, which was absolutely insane and epic. I mean, it's one of the best trailers we've seen in a long, long, long time. And based on, you know, what we know, this episode coming up might be a pretty epic and pretty iconic episode but we'll have to wait and see what we get for the next episode and like i said stay tuned for my video breaking down the photos that were released for the next episode but in this one we've talked about these two images separately before but i do want to again emphasize that in the big picture that we have we have aaron and jesus and eugene is probably the person that's behind jesus that's probably not a walker and there's of course fog or smoke everywhere because of course like they said in the trailer of the next episode there's going to be a storm coming so that's also connected to why it's foggy outside but of course we have what seems to be jesus aaron and eugene trapped in an area and there's a bunch of walkers basically surrounding them i left to fight the walkers and we've seen images or flashes of that encounter in the trailer but what i want to kind of point towards is if you take a look at the background there is this kind of fence or gate area right behind aaron and if you take a look at the other shot that we had for the next episode where we have what seems to be a whisper behind the gate now that's most likely the exact same gate and so this whisper i'm calling it a whisper because it's most likely a whisper is basically in the crowd of the herd or the walkers that are in there and whispers might actually be there when Aaron and Jesus are fighting the walkers and might do something might stab someone I am very nervous for both Jesus and Aaron part of me thinks that they've kind of killed very big characters in the last couple of seasons and they have kind of made some big characters just leave like Maggie and Rick so it's unlikely that they're going to kill another big character like Aaron or Jesus but another part of me is very concerned for these two of course I don't think both of them are gonna die but there's a part of me that thinks we might lose one of these Aaron or Jesus and I'm freaking scared I mean I'm scared for Jesus more than Aaron because for Aaron they wouldn't really have him lose the hand and give him this mechanical arm and this kind of story where he looks like comic Rick if they're gonna kill him off but for Jesus, I'm nervous for Jesus. I mean, he wasn't in my death prediction, but damn, I'm very concerned for Jesus. But just going back to the whisper that we have in the image on the top that's behind the gates, there are a lot of people that are saying this is Alpha or Lydia. Now, I do want to emphasize, I do think it's a whisper. And by the way, it's standing I think it's most likely a female whisperer. So I don't think it's beta for sure. But Alpha, Lydia, it could be any of the two. But if I were to make a prediction, I would think it's probably Lydia because Lydia is introduced before Alpha. And Lydia and Jesus have this sort of scene in the comics when Lydia is introduced. And I think this is a remixed version of what they did in the comics. So I think this is most likely Lydia. Now, although I am saying it's Lydia, I don't think we'll get the face reveal in this episode. In fact, I don't even think the actress that plays Lydia is the person standing there. I think it's just some random person with a mask on. I don't think it's actually the actress that plays Lydia. But... It is supposed to be Lydia, I think. Now, moving to the next thing, of course, we had this image as well, which was very, very interesting of this whisper. Of course, by this time, we know this is a whisper. Just take a look around the eyes. I mean, that gives it away because, of course, we do see the holes. So it seems like it has cut holes around where the eyes are. And it seems like it's a skin from the walkers. And it's like a kind of mask that they're using just like the comics and if you take a look at the mouth as well that is also suspicious looking but of course we don't need to go into detail to know this is a whisper because not only the way they teased this walker 
and also the way the eyes look gives it away that this is a whisper one other thing i do want to mention that i haven't mentioned before is that if you take a look at what the whisper behind the gate and what this whisper is wearing they're wearing the exact same type of clothing so I think these are the same exact characters. Even the faces look pretty similar. In one, it's very foggy and it's blurry, so we can't really know for sure, but they look somewhat identical. So I think this could also be Lydia as well. Next up, we have this shot that's very interesting. Again, it's around the area that's very foggy, around the, I think, what seems to be a cemetery. And, you know, of course, we have Aaron Jesus and Eugene there. And Aaron is fighting off this walker. This walker is biting Aaron's arm. Of course, Aaron has a mechanical arm, so it's not going to affect them. Aaron is stabbing the walker. But take a look at the background. This walker in the background is also very suspicious. It's just chilling in the background. I mean, if it was a walker, wouldn't it attack Aaron? Or perhaps have his hands up to attack someone else that's close by? It doesn't do that. It's just walking. And, you know, that's interesting. You know, that's not something the walkers do. So that's another kind of interesting tease, I feel, about what could potentially be a whisper. Now, last but not least, we have this shot that ends the trailer that we have for the next episode, actually, where we have this herd of walkers and we have the whispers. Keep them together. Now, I got chills the first time I heard that, and I even mentioned it in my breakdown of the trailer, but this was a pretty epic way to end the trailer. And of course, we get the idea that Daryl is hiding close by, and he most likely heard the whispers whisper as well. Now, what's very interesting, if you take a look, it seems like the herd is in small little packs. It doesn't seem like it's one big massive herd. It seems like there may be whispers spread amongst the walkers that are leading them in particular areas or directions. And there seems to be gaps between the groups of walkers. And this could connect to what the whispers are whispering, keep them together. They're not referring to the survivors and keeping them together, but the herd. They want to keep the herd together. And maybe that's the reason, because of course, as we see from here, it seems like there's breaks between the walkers and between the herd. So the whispers want to keep them together and, you know, for them to act as one unit, which is very, very cool. A great strategy by the whispers, of course. But I am very excited for this next episode. Again, stay tuned for my breakdown of the images for the next episode, the mid-season finale, which I am super pumped for, super excited, super hyped. And I think if everything they're telling us is accurate and if all the hype around this episode is accurate and is not just hype, then it's going to be an amazing episode and I absolutely can't wait for it. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe for more content and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads. Like and follow the Facebook page of this channel to join our community. And check out the upload schedule to learn more about daily uploads.